Hello N4H&H &H again. Um, so this is a follow-up to the previous video that covered the um, uh, sideband audio tapering or shelving, which is uh, menus 99 through 102 uh, in the uh, Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP. So uh, this is a related area of the menu and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, we, we, we covered this in, an, in another video. Well, I covered it yesterday. Um, one that I posted, two that I posted yesterday regarding CW. You've got the filter shape um, and the filter slope settings. Um, so that, if you recall, those were the ones I covered in uh, menus uh, 53 through 56. And you've got a similar thing here now for sideband. Uh, now remember, there's there's the audio tapering. That again, and there's CW, there's packet, there's RIDI. I'm not going into packet and RIDI in this. Uh, you can, you know, once you understand the the basics of how these work, you can adjust it to your liking. Um, but you know, I'm a big CW guy, and I also like sideband, so those are the things I focus mostly on. Um, the uh, so again, we had yesterday, we were covering CW, we covered the audio tapering or shelving where you've got the low and high cut, um, covered the filter shape and the filter slope for CW. Now today what I'm doing is I'm covering the filter, the audio tapering, which was the previous video, um, the shelving, if you will, low cut, high cut for sideband. And now we're gonna take a look at the filter shape, which is menu 122. And again, you know, you guys know this, to get into the menu, uh, you tap the menu button. So menu 122 is HF sideband shape, filter shape. Now there's, uh, there, there's a menu to cover. Everything I've just told you about as far as CW and sideband is also, um, there are adjustments for that for uh, VHF. So the, the six meter part of the radio has its own individual settings. I mean, this is this this radio is uh, so uh, customizable. It's kind of it's unreal, really. Um, so anyway, filter shape. Um, now I will tell you the manual. I think is a little bit misleading. Oh, can you imagine that? Um, if you look in the manual under the definition of menus 122 and 123, it's it's kind of strange how it's it says. So for 122, selects the passband characteristics of the DSP filter for the SSB mode on the HF band. Um, and then the available values are soft and sharp. The default is sharp, as you see there. Um, and then, you know, it explains the primary importance is attached to the phase of the filter factor. If it's soft, if it's set to sharp, the primary important is uh, attached to the amplitude of the filter factor. But what I'm what I'm getting at is it's kind of to me a little bit strange. Is um, in 123 it deals with the slope, and yet there's a there's a misprint in my opinion on 123 it says selects the shape factor of the DSP filter. So again, it's a repeat. I think they just copied and pasted, and um, and did not address the fact that this is for the slope, not the shape. So anyway, uh, but we'll, we'll cut to the chase in the video. Uh, just don't worry about the manual. Um, so out of the box, 122 is going to be set to sharp. And I'll show you, um, let me get some audio up here. Well, even when they're not talking, listen to the uh, depth of the audio. There's a very weak station out there. But... Yeah. Okay, so what if you? I hope that the the camera could pick that up. On sharp, you get a little bit better, uh, more robust low end. Um, on soft, you don't. And what it is is the shape of the filter and how uh, uh, abrupt, if you will, it's uh, affecting um, sideband. So in other words, re remember what we're talking about when we say filters. This is the digital. The DSP filter right here, which defaults at 2.4, but um, let me get out of the menu a second. So the default is 2.4. It won't show that on the screen. Just if it's off, it's 2.4 kilohertz wide. You turn it on, and it'll go to whatever setting you have, and you can see it light up. So now, by the way, especially for newcomers to the hobby, 
if somebody's audio sounds thin and you and you make it wider to get more more depth in their audio, more highs, more lows, if their audio on their end is just set thin, like they've got it set for that nasally sound when you're working DX and things like that, you'll find that you know, let's say you go go to 2.8 and 2.93 and you don't really hear any difference in their voice. That's not your end. That's their end. Some guys run wide, so you might find that when you get up to 2.8 three 3.2 that they get their voice gets really fat sounding you know a lot of low end and so that's controlled on their end what you're doing here is you're just deciding no matter how wide they want to transmit how wide do you want to hear and so the default is 2.4 which is what you get when the when this is not engaged so what we're talking about here is a digital IF filter that's that's created by the digital signal processor and so these, uh, the menus that we're dealing with, 122, are determining the shape of that filter. So let me just simplify this for you. Sharp, which is the default, will give you a little bit more emphasis on the lows, however you have them dialed in. Now here's the part where I said it relates to the previous video. If I roll this back to menu 99, that is where we decided in the previous video to set our our low cut and I like 150 Hertz uh, when I'm set on um, sharp now if you go to if you let me just give you a little advice here if you go to menu 122 and you set this shape to soft you're not gonna get as much low end it's gonna taper differently because of the shape of the filter now let's go back to 99 well First of all, there's a weak station there. Let me let you hear. Hear? Can you hear the low end come in? I hope you can. Lack of low end, sharp, gives me more low end. Soft, less low end, sharp, more low end. Now, if I set, have it set on soft, and I go back down to menu 99, I, what, watch what happens here. I'm gonna lower this now. When I look with it set on soft, I can literally go to low cut off and it'll restore some of that low end. Still not as much as you'll get if it's set on sharp. Uh, but it's it's a different filter shape and honestly, you just adjust it to your liking, whatever your ear likes. But I'm just trying to equip you with the information so you know how to do it. Um, so again, if menu 122 is set to soft, you'll probably want to lower this to get a little more low end in the, in the receive audio. Um, again, I normally run at 150, so I'll go back to 122, and I, yeah, like, yeah. I like the default well, sharp sound. So here's sharp. Uh, I don't know that the little jelly won't that be worth it. Now that guy's strong, so um, you're probably not hearing as much of the difference ago, man, like you can hear at the low. Uh, low signals and the reason I want you to know about the low signals is you'll find sometimes if you got somebody right down in the weeds that a little bit more depth from your side in other words a little more low end will help you hear them better I know that sounds um, contradictory because a lot of times we'll say well you need that high is for intelligibility yes they do on their end with their mic settings and I've got another video about mic settings on your end if you thin it out, like if you go here, well, let me get out of the menus here. If you go in here and you thin it out, that will actually make it harder to hear a weak station, but sometimes you have no choice because of QRM. Some guy two and a half kilohertz away splattering a little bit and you need to narrow the, your, your uh, IF a little bit to, uh, to hear who you want to hear and you sacrifice fidelity to do that so you know it's much more pleasant it's much more pleasant when you're listening a little bit wider i, I tend to like somewhere around 2.6 um and and if i'm if somebody's a little muddy i'll go down to 2.1 okay so now back into the menu we've got one more thing to discuss here so the shape, I like the default of sharp, but just so just remember this, if you run with sharp, you can probably get away with setting menu 99 at a higher setting, you know, a little higher cutoff where it starts 
uh, shelving, sloping off like that, sloping off the, the highs, I mean the lows. Okay, if you're going to run menu 122 at soft, then you, you want to lower this number and maybe even turn it completely off. All right, now we'll look at menu number 123. So again, default sharp. I like sharp, but see what see what your ear hears. Now, menu 123, um, the default setting of uh, 123 is medium. And then we have here we have steep, and then we've got gentle. The um, now let me tell you what this is. We talked about in CW. So so we, when we talked about the CW filters, we talk about that term, uh, Chebyshev, Butterworth. So the Chebyshev has the steeper skirts of, on the filter. In other words, the slope is, is steep. And, uh, you know, you imagine climbing a hill, and if it's a hill you're standing at and you've got to look almost straight up, that's a Chebyshev. If you're standing at a hill that's going to have a gentle slope for you to get to the, to the top, I, I relate things to mountain, mountain uh, hikes because of uh, summits on the air that I participate in. And so we hike to mountaintops and operate our ham radios. So a, a, a climb that's more um, gentle is going to be, um, you know, slopes gently. Well, the steep, the steep skirt filter is going to help you have selectivity. So it's going to be advantageous when you got somebody talking three kilohertz away and splattering down below or above or what have you. Um, medium. So, okay, and so with a steep filter, especially on CW, you begin to hear the edge of the filter ring a little bit. It's not as not something that is so prominent on um, sideband. Um, but what Yesu has given us is they've kind of given us a, okay, you want steep, we'll give you steep. You want just a happy medium, there's medium, and that's the default. And if you want to gently slope that filter, in other words, even, um, even less steep than medium, Okay, so steep is a very steep skirt. Medium is a medium skirt, medium slope, you know. That's why they call this the slope setting. And then gentle um, is going to be even uh, less of a slope to it than uh, less steep than medium is. Now, again, I think you just have to put your ear on it and see what, um, uh, what sounds good to you. I kind of like gentle, but sometimes I'll find myself doing medium. But let, So now, let's give this a practical application. You're in a rag chew, and you're on, uh, well, let's say you're on, you're on uh, 75 meters. And some guys uh, decide to park two kilohertz away, and you're still trying to hear the rag chew. And so what you do is you'll, 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 know, you'll come in here. Let me get out of this a minute. So you'll probably do things like um, narrow... If they're two kilohertz away, you want to go to at least 1.95, maybe even 1.8. Sometimes you even have to go to 1.5. Depends on how strong they are. Um, and then you may wind up engaging the um, the shift, which I'm going to do a next video regarding shift, um, the menu settings for shift. So you'll probably, you know, if the if the uh, interference that you're hearing from the nearby station is a higher pitch, then you'll go negative. Uh, that's the general rule. If they're a low pitch, then you'll go positive. Okay, so then you may, let's just say you may have to go to negative 200, and that's knocking that interference down, and you might even ga engage a mu tuner or VRF, uh, whichever option you have on your radio. VRF being the default mu tuner, meaning you spent extra money and bought the external uh, mu tuner device. Again, use these to try to combat that QR Mary. So, Another thing you could do, in addition to all of that, if you're still just struggling to hear the station, is go into this menu to 123, your HF sideband filter slope, and go ahead and narrow it down to steep. So you just you just made that filter, you know, almost a straight up wall, rather than a gentle slope off, which is going to allow it to your receiver to still capture some of that QR Mary that's, you know, two kilohertz away. So these are things you can do for, you know, again, let's say you're working at Rare DX and there's some, just a little bit of splatter from a guy. Maybe he's not even two kilohertz away. Maybe he's three kilohertz away, but he's, he's got a little splatter. 
uh, this might be the difference of picking that guy, uh, that rare DX out of the mix or not. But for casual listening, you know, gentle, uh, 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 gentle or medium are, to me, preferred. So um, anyway, that's covering the uh, sideband receive audio uh, filter. So we've, again, the previous video we dealt with shelving the audio, deciding what's the lowest frequency we want to hear, what the highest frequency we want to hear. Here, we're deciding how the IF digital filter, the one that's managed by the DSP unit, um, how it's shaped, which is 22, 122, and um, the default is sharp, and then also how the filter slopes off, what we call the skirts. Default medium, think of steep if I'm trying to fight some QRM nearby. Think of using gentle if you just want to rag chew, and medium, of course, is the all-around uh, setting. All right, I hope you found this video uh, informative and helpful. And uh, best of 73 to you from N4HNH.